mustard. Right. But the original Texas Pete has lots of loyal fans as well. Chef Tim Grandiniti shows us how to add some zing to your Thanksgiving meal. Thank you, Tanner. Happy holidays. We're here with Texas Pete to spice up your holidays, wake up your food, and bring some showstoppers to your Thanksgiving table this year. You know, this is a riff on my grandmother's sweet potato casserole, but we've taken it to a whole nother level. We use a quarter cup of our fiery sweet sauce. It's resplendent with honey, molasses, and our three pepper zing. We add it to the marshmallow recipe. It gets its beautiful marbleized look. Some roasted pecans. It goes on top of the sweet potato puree. And then what we'll do is really quickly just give it a torch. And if you don't have a torch, you can use your kitchen broiler. But it adds an amazing textural component. Think of it as a savory adult s'more. Fantastic and a showstopper for your Thanksgiving table. We've created recipes that are easy to make, fun and exciting for your holiday kitchen. And these, along with others, uh, created by Chef Michael O'Donnell, can be found at our website, TexasPeteRecipes.com. Here's a great one. That big, heavy pan gravy. Here's a beautiful au jus, or lighter gravy. And the flavor, flavor profile is apple, cinnamon, and bourbon, along with our hot sauce. A fantastic gravy for your holiday turkey, chicken, anytime. A great addition to your repertoire. Now, I get this question quite a bit. What do I do with the leftovers? Well, let me tell you. Sure, you can have a turkey sandwich, but why wouldn't you really take it to the next level? Here's a Texas Pete Kentucky Hot Brown. Freshly baked biscuits, nice and fluffy. Piled high with turkey, topped with bacon, tomato, and our Texas Pete hot sauce. Yes! That man likes his Texas Pete. Way to go. Good stuff. Next, let's eat it.